it looks slow, doesn't it? And the marbles are up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Spooky Boost. Ham Razor, Lugo, Valos, with Jay Welsh, and also the first scruff all on the inhand side. Living Laser taking a good line as they go up through the middle towards the outhand side. Sension coming in from the middle as well. Highway on the outhand side looking to cut towards the middle as they go through the first turn of the first lap of the second qualifying here of the inning. We had some technical difficulties in the beginning, but I think we're all back to where we're supposed to be, so let's get the show on the road. Sebastian Kane, Sip Chill, and Sension and Tamriz, all four wide as they cross the overpass. Working their way through into the back stretch here, the first lap. Tamriz to the out hand side, Sip Chill and cuts in towards the inside. Sebastian Kane's and Sension try and hold the middle. Tamriz going to draft up in front. It looks like Elsa the first. Ace in Dallas coming up through the ranks with Evil Games with a good line on the inside, but gets a bad bounce on the inside line. And they're going to be a little bit further behind. It looks like the speed is back up to where it normally was. Tamriz to the outside of the first, second turn. Looks like Sip Chill and coming up with a slightly better line. Tamriz needs to be careful as Sip Chill looking to make a move as they go through into the second lap. And Sip Chill putting a lot of booster out there. There's still the hot dogs and hamburgers flooding out from the back of that marble. I'm not sure exactly what the strategy here is, but there seems to be some propulsion mechanic advantage to the fist food shooting out of the back of Sip Chillin. And AC Dallas is trying to make a move on the out hand side. Sip Chillin up through the middle, now in first place by the power of the fast food. It's going to be AC and Dallas in second place. Tamri's in third, but Sension's overtaking as they go to the in hand side. Dallas in the first, and Smokey Boost both coming through at the same time. AC and Dallas on the inside. Sip Chillin on the outside. Sension tries to make a move in third place as well, but having some trouble holding the ranks. It's going to be scruffed to the outside, tries to get through, but a bad collision with Sension, and both are going to fall back further behind Sip Chillin, who's continuing to push an advantage with the fast food trying to play as they go out in the center line. Sep Chellen with some next level never before stream mechanic fast food apparently works in that exact context. Scruff coming around in second, Sension in third, Elson fourth, AC Dallas in fifth, but it's too little too late. Sip Chillin with over 100 marble like lead going into the second half of the second lap of the second qualifying heat of the evening. 21 marbles on the track, but it might as well just be one. Sip Chillin by the power of fast food careening down the track at unreasonable pace. I want to add up Sension to Scruff and try to hold second place in the moment, hoping something bad happens to Sip Chillin, but at this point I think it's all over. Sip Chillin goes the out inside now just seems to be strolling lackadaisically as they grow across into the middle trying to cut out into the middle to finish it out in first place with a good position scruff takes a little bit of a boost closes the gap on sip chillin but it's not enough and sip chillin crosses the line at 107 a good time and the power of the fast food compels him into victory that's good that's it that's a good one. that was a good one. i don't know what i don't know what it is about the fast food but it works so there, there you have it. Um, I guess we go again. Is that what we do now? I have all over the place tonight. I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, the third qualifying heat of the evening. Get your models in. Hi, folks. One minute on the clock. Get him in the third qualifying heat. Oh. Thirty seconds. Let's do it. Been stuck in a Valheim black hole. It's. I I tried to warn everyone. No one listened. No one listened. I was trying to warn everybody. Like, don't do it. It'll it'll eat you alive. No one wants to listen. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 marbles on the track for the third qualifying heat of the evening. Oblivion Echo is going to make it 21, beating the buzzer as they go through. But will that be? A winning play or just another marble on the track? Let's find out as we go into the third qualifying heat of the night. Shenanigans Derby Classic number 21. Sebastian Keynes moves to the out hand side. Slauson Sitch moves to the middle with Spooky Boost. Spoon Tree Evil Games out the first and Oblivion Echoes. All trying to make it happen as they go into the first major turn. Sension moves to the in hand side with a pretty good line and Sension might be making a move as they go towards the front trying to take Spooky Booth and Slauson Sitch with a beautiful line around the end. Sebastian Keynes comes around in second place also trying to get through well. It looks like it's going to be six wide as they go through the underpass and it's going to be Slauson Sitch out in front by just a nose. Sebastian Keynes rocking across. Looks like Spooky Boost gets a good boost ahead. Slauson Sitch with a little bit of a stumble as they 
bounce off of that line. Evil Games coming up through the middle, also trying to go through the pretty good line. Tries to overtake Spooky Moose, barely avoids the collision there, and Evil Games with a straight shot through is going to try to take the lead as they go into the second turn. Spooky Moose through the back stretch in second place. It's going to be such an AC Dallas. Trying to hold third, but look at the speed of Tamra. He's just rocketing through everyone as they go right up through the middle of the back, up into second place, right around to the second turn. It looks like Tamra is just looking to make it happen here as we go into the second lap. Spooky Moose and Sension trying to hold their position in third with Living Laser back in fifth place with Icy and Dallas. Ace, <laughs> else in the first highway and soft and stitch. It's getting a little jumbled up there in the middle of the back as Tamra is holds second for now. They're starting to lose the speed that they had before. Evil Games continuing to push the advantage now, increasing the lead to about 80 marble lengths as they cross the line into the second lap. Huge boost of speed by Evil Games, and they're starting to lead the competition in the dust as they go through into the second lap. Camry is in second. Also, the boss in first and third. Looks like Sutton's Edge Highway trying to just hold on as they go through into this first turn of the second lap. Evil Games got a good position as they go around into that outside line. Elsa the first going to be following the same line. Spooky Boost tries to cut up through the middle. Droska and Spoon Tree trying to make something happen up toward that middle line as well, but not going to be enough to get themselves towards the front of the back. It's Evil Games still on front by a good lead now as they go into the back stretch of the second lap. Elsa the first in second. Sutton's Edge in third. Highway in fourth. Tamry is in fifth. In Sension in sixth place just trying to make something happen. They're going to be four wide as they go through, each taking their own line across the back stretch, but Evil Games in the competition touches almost a quarter lap lead for Evil Games as they go around to the second turn. And Evil Games is looking to crush it here on the competition as we go through the third qualifying heat of the evening. Evil Games around the bend into the final stretch. Highway tries to go the gap at the last second, but I don't think it's going to be enough as Evil Games continues to push through with a steady speed. Living Laser in third, Spooky Boost in fourth, Sun's in fifth place. Tamers coming up through again, looking to get one more boost of speed to make it happen, but Spooky Boost is holding them at bay, but it doesn't matter. All the action at front, it is Evo Games just keeping the competition completely behind them as they cross the line with a 90 marble length lead. Evo Games takes the victory and takes the the third qualifying heat to get into the deck double that now. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That's a good one. That's a good one. Another 107 time, huh? Go figure. Earl of People. Welcome back. Get your mobs in, folks. Shag is Robert W. Classic continues. See if we can get a close race this time, huh? That'd be nice. Let's get a close race. Uh, heat number four. One minute on the clock. Get your mobs in. Let's go. I'm not saying Valheim's a bad game. I'm just, you know, it's kind of like World of Warcraft. It's just, it's gonna swallow people whole. I got a gifted sub to Ender's World. When did that happen? Who's who's gifting subs? I don't have anything. I'm streaming. I'm, I don't have. The blinders are on when I stream. I have a very narrow window to the world for only important things, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth qualifying heat of the evening. 22 marbles on the track. Let's get this race underway. Earl the people going for that inside line with Spoon Tree, Cyber Dragon, Highway Kira, Zaga, Lynn, Living Laser, Lugo, Val, Spooky, Moose, Scruff, and JB. up through the middle with Elsa the first as well. Sebastian Kane's also cutting into the middle as Earl the people decides to go on the out hand side before they get to the first turn of the first lap of the fourth. Qualifying heat of the evening. Jay Biggs goes to the out hand side with Kraken right behind. Sebastian Kane's trying to go a little higher to get a bit more speed as they come down the ramp. It's going to be Scruff moving to the outside. Jay Biggs on the inside, Kraken up the middle, and Earl the people trying to hold forth as they go through the underpass. And Elsa the first is going to overtake as they go into that back stretch. Cyberdark Dragon on the outside with Scruff drafting right behind in third. It's going to be Jay Biggs holding first for now, but only by about 15 to 20 lengths. Scruff on the outside closes the gap on Jay Biggs. Jay Biggs cuts to the middle. Scruff goes to the in hand side. Cyberdark Dragon holding third as they go towards the middle with Elsa the first in chase and Cyberdark Sebastian. Kane's trying to make something happen as well. Scruff now in first place with a good line around the bend. Can they keep it ahead of Jay Biggs as they go through? Oh, a little bit of stumble there by Scruff. They lost some speed coming into the final stretch of the first lap. And Jay Biggs and Scruff are going to be neck and neck as they go through. Scruff careens to the outside line, trying to cut off Jay Biggs. 
And it seems to be working for now, but now they've lost some speed as they cut back towards the middle, and Jay Biggs is going to get a little bit of a boost. Going across the line, Jay Biggs looking to retake first place as they cross the line. Scuff's going to try to cut him off, but Jay Biggs swerves to the inside to dodge him, and it looks like Jay Biggs is going to go for it as they careen to the inside line ahead of Ashton Keynes, who's still trying to keep up pace with the others. Scuff with a good line and a good boost coming up into the first turn, just trying to put it all here in the turn, and it might work out for Scruff as Jay Biggs cuts a bad line high on the right hand side, going to slow down as they come down to the bottom. Sebastian Keynes might even overtake Jay Biggs with that bad line. And Scruff on the outside with a good 60 to 70 barber leg lead is now going to come down to the back stretch in first place. Sebastian Keynes in second, Jay Biggs in third. Looks like AC Dallas, Sip Jillen, and Earl the People all trying to make it happen. Sebastian Keynes a little bit slower in the back now, and it looks like Scruff is just starting to rocket ahead. I don't know what's going on with that distortion trail in the back of Scruff, but it seems to be working in their favor as time and space is bending around them. They're marble traveling at unnatural speeds. Comes around to the second bend of the second lap, looking to go through the fourth qualifying heat. Sebastian Keynes is practically a full turn behind as Scruff comes around the bend, looking to finish. And ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be our fourth runaway victory in a row here tonight with Scruff. A good quarter of a lap ahead of the competition coming down the final stretch across the line to finish it out in first place. Sebastian Gaines barely within camera shot here as they go through the cameraman struggling to keep everyone in the same frame as they go across the line by the blistering pace of Scruff. And Scruff with a 106 time is going to take the victory to finish it out in first place and qualify for the double bandana. Amazing. That's a good one. Are you late for record hunters? Yes. And you're also on the wrong channel. You are both late and in the wrong channel for record hunters. What is this cooked rice? This is Shaggy's Marble Derby Classic. Welcome in. Good to have you here. Who else just joined? So what, oh, uh, I7 Dancer. Hello. Welcome in. Good to have you here. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fifth qualifying game of the evening. So far, Kira Zaga, Sip Chill, and Evil Games, and Scruff BMX have qualified for the decked up on Bandana. For those of you who don't know, exclamation point VIP in chat. The winner of the Deck Topple Bay gets to make a Command of the Week for the week, and there'll be a betting period on the final race. Whoever wins that bet gets a VIP for the week. Spoon Tree Diablo back in the Obliviated Echoes, trying to take the lead as they go around the bend in the first lap of the fifth qualifying heat of the evening. Jaluska out in front, and it looks like Jaluska is going to try to represent the mods here tonight, and Elsa the First is lurking in the back, ready to strike as well. Diablo back cuts to the outhand side with Obliviated Echoes going through as well, but there's Jaluska representing the mods as they make the move. They were under the training wing last week, and it looks like they've put all their knowledge to the test right now, but Sip Chillin, who's already qualified once again, using the power of the fast food to blast ahead into third place, and Jaluska's Gonna try to cut in front and get them back into their position. Oblivion Echoes, Jaluska, and Sip chilling. Three wide as they go to the second turn, coming around the bend as they work their way down into the second lap. But Jaluska's gonna have their work cut out for them if they want to keep this pace up for the entirety of the second half of this qualifier. It's gonna be Oblivion Echoes in third, Jay Biggs in fourth, Spooky Moose in fifth on the in hand side with Sebastian Gaines and Spoon Tree not too far behind. Seven marbles all in competition for first place right now as they come through, and it looks like we're finally gonna get our close race, ladies and gentlemen. Jaluska still trying to represent the mods alone as they go into the in hand side in first place with about a 20 marble length lead. It's gonna be Sip Chillin' and Oblivion Echoes trying to boost each other forward with a good collision off the in-hand side. Oblivion Echoes going to swerve back to the inside. Sip Chillin' holding the middle. As Jaluska goes to the out-hand side, trying to keep the other two at bay. Here comes Spooky Moose and Jay Biggs moving around on the in-hand side with Sebastian Keynes and Spooky on the out-hand side, and the other marble's not too far behind. Working the way around that outside edge, and it looks like it's going to be Jaluska out in front still as they go through the first turn of the second lap, and it looks like they could be holding it all together here as we go into the final stretch. 
Drozka in first place, now increasing their lead to about 30 barrel legs. Sip chilling back in second. Oblivion Echoes in third. Sebastian Gaines and Spooky Moose trying to make something happen with Jay Biggs, Jay Welshman, and Spoontree all coming through the middle of the pack. And Drozka still out in front, but now only about, about 15 lengths as Oblivion Echoes tries to find a better line on the inside side. Oblivion Echoes to the outside. It's going to be Drozka to the inside. side. Sip chilling trying to cut him off as well, and it's going to be three wide as they go around this final turn. Sip chilling gunning for Drozka. Drozka's got to be careful as they all go through into the final stretch here of the fifth qualifying heated, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a nail biter. Drozka's out in front by just five legs. Sip chilling on the inside. Oblivion Echoes the outside. Starts to fall behind. Sip chilling can't keep the pace. Drozka finds the afterburners. They're going to put the pedal to the metal. Drozka's giving it all they got. They want to represent the mods here and represent they are going to do as they floor to the inside side. Going across the line with a crazy angle and speed. And Drozka takes the victory. Representing the mods as we go into the second half of the qualifiers, ladies and gentlemen. Drozka taking note from the mods the week before and putting them in spades here tonight. 107.2. A beautiful time and a beautiful race. Let's go. Well done, Drozka. Good. good stuff. Good stuff. All right, folks, here we go. Sixth qualifier, loading up. Get him in, get him in, get him in. Suni, aka Steffi, welcome back. It's been a while. Good to have you here. And who just followed? I don't know. Thank you. Chilla, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Or is it Cell 427? It might be Cell 427. Is this a Dragon Ball Z reference? Is this something I should know? Something I should be aware of. <sighs> Doing pretty good, Suni. Good to see you. Ganz gut für dich, ich glaube. Ich weiß nicht. Hot Wheels boy, hello, welcome. Good to have you here. 30 seconds, get your marbles in. Hey, gentlemen, this is a Schnaggins Marble Derby Classic. We do this every Monday night, so feel free to pop in anytime on a Monday night to catch the action. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 25! Five marbles on the track, ready to get everything underway for the sixth qualifying heat of the night. It's going to be all the marbles scrambling across the line, looking for that early position as they go into the first turn. Oblivion Echoes coming up on the end side with Noob Too Fast, Jay Biggs Highway, Elsa the first end, the Earl of People. Tab race to the end side, or the middle line with Scruff and Sension trying to get that good line. Slothing position, Poochie going in the out end side, Hot Wheels Boy trying to get in position on their first ever appearance on the shenanigans marble derby classic and hot wheels boy the dark horse here the little greenhorn trying to make a name for themselves but ha oh my goodness they just got completely slammed in the face i believe it was kirazaka putting hot wheels boy in their place and that's the fate that becomes some of the upstarts here ladies and gentlemen if you're going to try to overtake some veterans you got to be ready for some pushback just like we saw there highway is going to be in the lead and they go around in first place Sension trying to go up through the middle and Sension with a lot of speed with a ghost representing on the dunder line the name coming around the bend in the first second turn it looks like they've got good position coming down slamming down hard as they got a little bit of error for that turn and Sension going to put the pedal to the metal and put all the gas they got into the second lap now the tire rolling forward with the unicorn horn leading the way highway coming to the out inside in second place and looks like scruff bmx Back in third. Elbow back, Spoon Tree, Kira's August, Spoon Moose just trying to hold on position for now as they let Marbles cross the line. Incension will be in first by about 20 to 25 marble lengths crossing the line into this next turn of the second lap. Highway 66666 trying to make it happen as they go to the out hand side trying to find a better line than Incension. Spoon Tree up through the middle trying to cut off the other two and it looks like they might actually make some progress there. Spoon Tree dangerously close to both Incension and Highway and Spoon Tree's got blood in their eyes ready to go and strike down on the lower Raiders here and try to take the lead for themselves. Spoon Tree to the in hand side just trying to go for the best line. Incension in first place but now in trouble as Highway comes up from behind and here comes Spoon Tree from behind as well. Spoon Tree seems to be wielding a, a, a it's a bladed disc, something out of Xena Warrior Princess, and it's actually <laughs> causing some concern amongst Highway and Sension to decide to tuck back, not wanting to risk getting their throat slit by that strange blade. And Spoon Tree's coming around on the out side now in first place with a 30 to the 35 hour leg lead. And Kirozaka, who's already qualified, just wants to be in the action to see what's going to happen with Spoon Tree and that weapon. 
Spoontree in first place as they work their way down to the out hand side. Kira Zalka in second, highway back in third. Kira looking over to take Spoontree, but Spoontree's not having it. Spoontree's wielding that blade, swinging it all around, trying to keep the marbles at bay, but Highway's going to take a risk here as they try to overtake. Coming up into the final line, Lady Show is going to come down to the wire. Both marbles coming down at the same time as the last lap. Spoontree on the in hand side. Highway and Kira Zalka on the out hand side. Spoontree's got a lead by about half a body length, and it looks like they're going to cross the line in first place. Highway trying to push the metal to the metal, but a little too far outside the line. And Spoontree will take the victory, barely holding on there. Beautiful run. On beautiful race. Not sure about the tactic of the circular blade being wielded there by Spoontree, but it seems to have worked in their favor barely under 108. Had enough to qualify for the sixth qualifying race of the night. Let's move on to number seven. Yeah! All right, one minute on the clock. Get him in, let's go. All right, so six marbles have qualified already. Kira, Sip Chillin', Evo Games, Scruff, BMX, Droska, and Spook Tree. Waiting for the last four to qualify. Let's do this. All right, folks, here we go. Twenty-four marbles on the track for the seventh qualifying gate of the night. Let's see what's going to happen. As the marbles go across the line, the initial scramble, a little bit of a mess here, as Jay Welshman, also the first living laser, Hot Wheels Boy, Garozaga, Lugo Vallis, Killer App, Cyber Dark Dragon, as Spooky Boost, all fight for position, going into the first major turn. Living laser on the in hand side with Lugo Vallis and Jay Welshman trying to make it happen. Also the first on the out hand side with Killer App getting on the extra mile. A lot of new names coming up for the first time tonight. And let's see if any of them fresh off of the track are going to have their way to get themselves into first place. Lugo Velo, it looks, seems to be having a good line, but Jay Welshman looking to have reestablished themselves here. They were a very well-established racer back in the time when we were doing just general PvP races. And it looks like they haven't lost a single stride in their step as they are now pushing second place as they go through this backstretch of the first lap of the seventh qualifying heat. Evo Games trying to represent also back up in third even though they've already qualified. Hot Wheels Boy once again trying to make a name for themselves and I wouldn't be surprised to see them qualify by the end of the evening here tonight. But Jay Welshman still looking to prove themselves back on their long tradition. He's going to come to the out-hand side with a good 15 marble leg lead out in first place on the out-hand side. Lugo Ballas comes around in second. Evil Games in third and Hot Wheels Boy holding forth for now. Looking to be in good position as they go into the second lap, but it looks like Lugo Vallis and Jay Westman are going to start pushing the envelope here as they cross the line into the second lap. Hot Wheels Boy holding third, but struggling to keep up with the two leaders. Looks like Killer App is going to take a little bit of a push on the in-hand side, and Sloth and Sish is going to go for it as well. Three wide as they cross the line, going for third place, but Lugo Vallis and Jay Welshman are still up front battling it out. Lugo Vallis struggling to keep up with the pace of Jay Welshman. Jay Welshman putting all their knowledge from the past into the present, and it looks like the other marbles were not prepared for this kind of precision. And Jay Welshman coming up off of a very old and archaic knowledge is starting to take the advantage here. The other marbles, they don't know what's going on. They've never seen strategies or precision like this before. And Jay Welshman archaic knowledge seems to be giving them the leg up on the competition that the competition has no idea what to do with it. Lugo Vallis struggling to keep pace starts to fall back even further behind Jay Welshman putting it all they've got and they don't know how they're doing it. How has Jay Welshman been able to push this hard for this long on this track? It looks like Jay Welshman's go for it. He was born on Rusty Remnant. Something like a one minute map is going to be nothing compared to the five minutes he's been pushing himself through for ages and ages ago. And Jay Welshman to the out hand side looking across the line in first place to qualify here in the first Shenanigan Swamp Derby Classic of their career and Jay Welshman without a single hesitation has got to cross the line and take the victory for themselves in first place. Jay Welshman, the seventh qualified marble of the evening. Good to see one of the old veterans come back. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Man, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that, Jay Welshman. That's awesome. It's just like he, like he never left.
Like he never left. It's like he's been here the whole time. Just picked up right where he left off. You got nothing. You guys got nothing. OG Marble Racer over here. You guys are screwed. He, he's, he's taking the whole thing. I'm calling it. I'm putting all my money on Jay Welshman tonight, baby. All my money on Jay Welshman tonight. One bit on the clock. Get your marbles in. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, thank y'all for being here. Hope you're having a fun time. Again, we do this every Monday night. So be sure to join the fun in the future. Coming up this week, Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern-ish. I'm going to be helping out Jarumba with his Major League Tilts. So you can check out Jarumba's channel Thursday night. 9 p.m. Eastern-ish. Friday, 2 p.m. Ask a Builder Anything. Friday, 7 p.m. Shenanigans Marble Derby Classic. No. One hour track. I'll get there. Saturday, noon. Maxcast on the talk show. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And then I might also be doing some twisted indie puzzle map evaluation on Saturday as well. Turds towards the end of the evening. And then Sunday, teaching tilting Monday record honors on my channel. And then another Shenanigans Marble Derby Classic. It's the fun never stops. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the eighth qualifying heat of the evening. Pay no attention to what the top left corner of your screens say. Okay, now you can look. And the marbles are going to push their way into the first third here on the eighth qualifying heat of the evening. It's going to be Suni, a.k.a. Steffi. Sip, chill, and nope too fast. All things just carols on carol up and sour dive crack and all fighting for position as they go through the first turn into the underpass and getting themselves into the backstretch of the first lap. Suni, a.k.a. Steffi, is going to be out in front by just a nose, but nope too fast gets a good line to the outhand side, pushing ahead into the same position. Sip, chill, who's already qualified, is going to continue to push the advantage of that fast food and just rocket ahead into first place. Nope too fast, trying to hold second. So often such tries to get through in third. It looks like killer app in fourth and and Sony AK Sevy in fifth place as they all scramble for position, going around into the second turn of the first lap. Sip chillin' cuts to the out end side. Soft and switch, killer app and nope too fast. All battling for that same position. Coming around the bend, and it's gonna be a little bit of a jumble there. Looks like nope too fast and killer app having some minor collisions around the bend as they go into the back stretch of the or the last stretch of the first lap. And Sloth and Sitch is going to overtake Sip Chillin' as they cut to the outhand side. Sip Chillin' holding the middle in second. Nope, too fast and clear up. Cut to the inhand side, trying to get through for third. But here comes Sension out of nowhere. The tire with the unicorn horn trying to push through. And Sension with a rocketing speed coming up through the middle of the pack. And Sension might be making a move here in the second lap of the eighth qualifying heat of the evening. Sip Chillin' to the inside. Sloth and Stitch to the middle line. And Sension with a perfect line coming around the bend is looking to close the gap on both of them. And Sension might actually be able to pull this off. Beautiful line around the outhand side. He's going to close the gap on Sip Chillin' and Sloth and Stitch are now getting caught up at each other. Sip Chillin' tries to get to the end side, but it's going to go to the outhand side as well. Soft and Sitch drops out. Sip Chillin' trying to go stay at a bait, but again, Sip Chillin' has already qualified, which means Sension right now is in qualifying position with Sloth and Sitch right behind the second place, continuing to lose the ground. It's going to be Cyber Dare Kraken. Killer Nope Too Fast on Highway. I'll try to make something happen as they go through at the same time. Sip Chillin' out in front, once again using the power of the fast food. I don't know why they're gunning it when they've already qualified. Killer App overtakes Sension coming around the bend. Killer App sees a little moment of weakness from Sension and Nope Too Fast, and Killer App's going to go careening around the outhand side of the second turn. It looks like Sip Chillin' could be in trouble, even though they've already Qualified. Keller App up to the outside side. Doesn't want Sip Chillin' stubbing him here in the middle. And looks like, oh my goodness, Keller App just gives a backhanded slap to the face of Sip Chillin' for their bad manners. And Sip Chillin' sucking their thumb, cuts back to the inside, side, letting the others go ahead. And Keller App putting Sip Chillin' in their place with a single bitch slap. And <laughs> Keller App is going to take the qualifier for themselves, leaving Sension all the way back in fourth place. Wowzer, just pa, get out of here, Sip Chillin'. What are you doing? Get the get the fuck out of here! You already qualified. Get the get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Slap those bad sportsmanships right back in their position. Tell them what's what. Oops. Well, we're starting, ladies and gentlemen. One minute on the clock. The ninth qualifier counting down. Getting quick. Getting quick. It's a fast one. Look out. We got a little happy with the button. We got a little happy with the button, ladies and gentlemen.
All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 19 marbles on the track. The ninth qualifying here of the evening. Eight have qualified already. Killer App, Rizalka, Sip Chill, and Evo Games, Scruff, BMX, Drowska, Spoonfree, Jay Welshman, and Killer App. All names we recognize here on the Shenanigans Marble Derby Classic scene. Let's see what's going to happen as we go into the next qualifier. Nope, too fast. Off and such. Sension, Hot Wheels, Boy, St. Dallas, Highway 6666, and the Earl of People. All battling for position as they go into the first turn of the ninth qualifying heat. And let's see if Hot Wheels Boy can finally make a name for themselves here on the course. It's nope, too fast. Cutting ahead as they go through the underpass. It's going to be Earl of People trying to hold second highway in third. And AC and Dallas with a good boost up speed right up through the middle. AC and Dallas now taking the lead. The Earl of People trying to hold second. But it looks like they're having trouble keeping up with the competition as... Looks like Hot Wheel Boy and Tension through the middle battling for third and Jay Welshman just in for the fun of it. Having already qualified. AC and Dallas is still out in front in first place, but not by much. Oh, people swerving wildly to the out inside, desperately trying to find a better line around this second turn than AC and Dallas to cry to close the gap. And will it work for the Earl of Babel's favor? AC and Dallas does stumble a little bit on the jump, and it seems to have worked for Earl of Babel, and they've closed the gap on AC and Dallas down to about 10 marble lengths. They're cutting a lot more ground, but they're pushing through with a lot more speed. And that could be the key to success here, as Jay Welshman is also still just pushing in for the fun of it. Sension up in fourth place now. Earl of People looking over to AC and Dallas, and it looks like their strategy has finally worked as the Earl of People makes the move to the inside. Look Looking to be in first place as they cross the line into the second lap. Sension falls back into fourth. It's Jay Welshman in third. Elsa the first and fifth at Evo Games holding the middle in sixth place with Luca Vals coming up through the middle as well. AC Dallas just trying to keep pace with the Earl of People, but the Earl of People seems to have found a moment to strike and they're just gutting it with all they've got trying to keep the position that they found as they cross the line and they've got a long way to go to hold it. Will they be able to hold it through the rest of the race? We're going to find out here as they go through into the back stretch. It's going to be Earl of People in front. Oh my goodness! Hot Wheels Boy has finally found it in themselves. They realized the perfect strategy by watching the other competitors that you don't strike until the second half of the second lap, and that's exactly what Hot Wheels Boy has done, and will they be able to actually pull this one off? It might actually be a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, the Greenhorn Hot Wheels Boy, learning from the Masters right here live in the track, is now putting everything they've learned to the test as they come around the final bend. Evil Games just going to be toying with them here. They are one that's already qualified as is Kira, and it looks like Kira and Evil Games are actually escorting Hot Wheels Boy, making sure none of the other marbles get in their way, and a beautiful display of sportsmanship here by the two qualifying marbles, Evil Games and Kira Ozaka, keeping the other competitors away from Hot Wheels Boy, and Evil Games even drops back to let Hot Wheels boy take the victory have you seen an embasement of beauty like that in your life ladies and gentlemen oh my goodness hot wheels boy getting escorted by the two qualifiers kira and evo games a beautiful moment in gaming history ladies and gentlemen absolutely brilliant wow that's it's touching it's so touching that's ah. that, was, that was beautiful guys that was beautiful it's like at the end of Cool Runnings, when they pick up the bobsled and they walk across the line. <sighs> it gets me every time. It gets me every time. Wow. What a, what a moment in sportsmanship. Shadows! Wow. Beautiful. Uh, get your marbles in, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last qualifying hit of the evening. This is going to be a hell of a final derby. I'm telling you right now. This derby is loaded. We got Jay Welshman, the OG racers. We got Ahmad Drahuska representing. We got Hot Wheels Boy, the Greenhorn. We got some big heavy hitters like Spoontree and Killer App and Evo Games. We got Kara Zalka. She's in there. I don't know how she got in there. It's going to be a wild last race, ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds. Get your marbles in. Let's go. <laughs> is it is it hot wheels boy is it is that how you would describe it all right ladies and gentlemen here we go the final qualifying heat of the night 16 marbles on the track let's see what's gonna happen as the marbles cross the line in the initial scramble and the marbles are off on the initial scramble evo games hot wheels boy ac dallas living laser jay Westman. 
all up front, but it looks like only two of those marbles are actually able to still qualify. AC Dallas and Living Laser, the only two of the front runners now that have not qualified, and Highway 66666, who's been giving it a pretty good shot so far, might also be trying to... Oh my goodness, Hot Wheels Boy getting physical with Living Laser. I don't know about this. I think the success might be going to Hot Wheels Boy's head. I think they don't realize that they only won of that because of the graces of Akira Ozawa and Evil Games. Getting a little physical with Living Laser, who has yet to qualify, and Hot Wheels Boy now out in front. Not so sure this is the kind of thing we wanted to see out of Hot Wheels, boy. The success going straight to their head here, and they've completely lost all respect of the entire community around them as they continue to push the advantage here in first place as they go through, but maybe they're just having a little fun celebrating and taunting the older players in their victory. Living Laser trying to hold second with AC Dallas. Right? Oh, they're just going for it. They don't even care about winning. They're just trying to take down Hot Wheels, boy. And Highway's going to go as well. And Hot Wheels, boy, has made some enemies fast here on the track, and they better be watching themselves as they go through into the final race. It's going to be, oh my, oh no! Highway <laughs> going wild for Hot Wheels Boy. Hot Wheels Boy has really hit some nerves here. And Hot Wheels Boy is going to wisely cut back into fourth place. I think they realize they may have overstepped their boundary. And AC and Dallas just going to stream ahead as Living Laser and Highway still try to take it. And Evil Games, I think, is coming up just to keep Hot Wheels Boy from being murdered on the track. Going to try to break up Highway and Hot Wheels Boy. And it's going to be AC and Dallas up in front. I'm sorry y'all had to see that, ladies and gentlemen. Things just getting a little heated here on the track as AC and Dallas continues to hold the lead by about 40 barber legs into the second half of the second lap of the final qualifying heat of the evening. Evil Games trying to keep everyone under control with Highway and Hot Wheels still going at it in the back and Living Laser in there too. Lugo Val's going to get in the action as well. Not sure. Oh my goodness. Lugo's oh my god. Hot Wheels boy better be watching themselves tonight. It's going to be AC and Dallas now with a huge lead as the other marbles continue to just sabotage each other rather than focusing on the race. It looks like AC and Dallas, the only one able to keep a cool head, is going to be able to profit from it as the other marbles so distracted by the conflicts going on in the track that AC and Dallas can just pretty much walk their way into the wind bit at this point as they go through the final stretch of the second lap with a good 70 to 80 marble like lead. Living Laser tries to regain up into second. Lugo Val is holding the middle in third with AC and Dallas with all the time and room in the world to cross the line in first place and qualify without even a moment of competition from the other marbles. And AC and Dallas takes the victory, finishing the final qualifying race of the night. Wow, this is going to be a hell of a last race. Good lord, the tensions are high. Ooh, we're, we might see some dangerous stuff happening tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I would not recommend bringing small children to this final race, it could get ugly. It could get very ugly. All right, we got some stuff to set up, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare yourselves. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. There we go. Did you call that? No. Not even close enough to fast. Not even close. All right, here's what we need to do. We need to take the race. We need to set the settings. We need to add the names. We need to remove the names. We need to add the names. There they are. And then we need to simulate the race with 10 marbles. And then we need to get the betting ready. Okay. You'll see a message in chat in just a moment. That will give you your instructions. Uh, you must spell the names as they appear in the list. If I misspelled them or whatever, it doesn't matter. You just have to do it as it appears in the list or it won't count. that works all right folks there's your options exclamation point bet space one space and then the name as it appears in the list as the votes come in we'll go over the stats of the racers here and there they are on your screen uh, uh oh there we go oh oh geez Either I'm lagging or there's something going wrong right now. I uh, There's something wrong here. There we go. Okay. 
Um, you might all want to bet again. Some things are not working. I'm getting either I'm getting lag or something's not going good. So y'all might want to try to bet, do your bets again just to be sure. Because things are wonky right now. I only have seven bets registered, and we've definitely had more than seven bets. So just just keep betting. We'll see what happens here. Not sure what's going on. Sorry for the. Uh, I might just reset it. I don't know. It's definitely not working. Yeah, it's definitely not working. All right, hold on. We're going to reset this. Sorry. <clears throat> All right, try again. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, it's just a little laggy. Okay. Okay, it's just a little laggy. We're good now. <clears throat> Weird. Let's go over some of the data here. <clears throat> All right. Currently at one bet at the top of the screen, Sip Chillin. Sporting the stained glass cube. Uh, after that, we have Evo Games, who has the highest record of the uh, record hunters. With three records hunted. And I do believe they... Do they have... They do not yet have a Shenanigans Marble Derby Classic Duck Tuple Bandana Champion yet. They have not won. So Evo Games, one of the favorites here, hoping to finally add one more title to their very long career. A killer app. No votes. <laughs> Hot Wheels Boy, the upstart, causing all sorts of drama and trouble here. Only with one favorite vote at the moment, so it looks like the, uh, the fans not impressed with their actions in the final race. AC and Dallas also with no votes at the moment, another non-favored at the moment. Spoondry, sitting with three votes, one of the favorites. Jay Welshman, also one of the favorites, who I'm putting my money on, one of the OG marble racers, out to show that those old skills still got some punch. Drauska, the mod, in at one vote for themselves. Scruff BMX, also sadly sitting at no votes. And it looks like Kira Rizalka will be sitting with two votes. In as a wild card here. Um, again, if you all want to just bet one more time, just to make sure your bet has registered, and uh, we'll get this going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some. Some of them didn't vote or didn't register. They're coming in now. I don't know if there's like a weird cooldown or something. I don't know. Hopefully this will be better next time. Are we ready to do this, ladies and gentlemen? I think the betting will be closing soon. And again, sorry if the betting doesn't work for some people. All right, that's it. The betting's closed. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is the 21st Deck Tuple Bandana Championship. And boy, do we have a roster here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Sip Chillin', Killer App, Evo X Games, Hot Wheels Boy, AC and Dallas, Spoondry, Droska, Jay Welshman, Scruff Game X, and Kira Rizalka. And the marbles are off as they go through into the first minor turn of the first lap. It's going to be AC Dallas, Spoondry, Hot Wheels Boy, Killer App, and Evo Games trying to take that early lead. Kira Zaga, Droska, Sip Chill, and Jay Welshman, and Scruff BMX in the back for now. We'll see what happens with those marbles as they go through into the next section. 
Well, let's see how it all pans out as we go through into the race. Evo X Games looking to take an early lead by about 30 marble lengths. Goes through the underpass into the first straightaway, and they are going to have a good position into the first major dirt. Kirozaka looking to make a move on the outhand side. Spoontree up in second, clear up in fourth, and it looks like Droska back in fifth place with AC in Dallas and Hot Wheels Boy not too far behind as we go into the first major dirt. Evo Games going to try to hold that first position, but I don't think they've got the line to do it. The other marbles are coming around trying to have a better line as they go through a little bit more speed. Scruff BMX with a very good line when a lot of speed tries to get through on the high line. But I don't think it's going to be enough to catch up with the other marbles just quite yet. It's going to be Evo Games, still out in front by about 40 marble lengths. Killer App tries to hold second, but AC Dallas has a lot of speed. Hot Wheels Boy with a lot of speed overtakes Spoodry on the inhand side, trying to get a good line. And Hot Wheels Boy might actually be making a move here on this second minor turn. Evo, no, Hot Wheels Boy's going to the outhand side, even to the inhand side. And that's going to let Evo Games hold on to the lead for now. But Hot Wheels Boy with a lot of speed is going to try to hold second place as they go through that second minor turn. Killer App coming around in third, AC Dallas with a little bit more speed overtakes now into third. Killer App back and forth. Joskin in fifth place, Spoodry in sixth place, Karazaka in seventh, Jay Welshman in eighth place, starting to make a move and is this the old veteran looking to make a play here as they come up into the second lap it's going to be hot wheels boy now out in front overtaking evil games ac dallas also making a move who was going on unfavored into the voting but it looks like they're still trying to represent here fresh off of their victory on the final qualifier of the night it's hot wheels boy in first place ac dallas in second evil games at third spoodry fourth and killer app at fifth place with joska and jay welshman not too far behind and jay welshman still in this and could make something happen as they come up through the back in seventh place ac dallas barely holding on first now by about 10 to 15 marble lengths evil games in second hot wheels boy falling back to third Looks like I was. Oh my goodness! AC and Dallas careens to the inhand side. They bent their axle in half. They've lost their alignment. They can't even drive straight anymore. They swerve out on the outhand side and they crash horribly into the line with a huge explosion in debris coming up from behind. Hot Wheels Boy takes a blow onto Evo X Games and boosts ahead. And Jay Welshman, there's the move we were expecting from the veteran, waiting for the other marbles to tire out battling each other. And Jay Welshman, without a single scratch on him, is going to start taking the lead here in first place as Hot Wheels Boy tries to cut him off. It's Jay Welshman in first place. Hot Wheels Boy's back in second. Drosca in third. Evo Games in fourth. Smoochie in fifth place. And Jay Welshman is going to make the move, ladies and gentlemen. The veteran from the blast, the blast from the past, making it all happen here on the track as they try to go through in first place. It's the old versus the new, the youngin versus the veteran. It's Hot Wheels Boy and Jay Welshman having it out on the track here as they go to the second straightaway. Evil Games are just trying to keep pace, but it might be too little too late. Hot Wheels Boy taking the lead, giving it all they've got with a good boost. It's made Jay Welshman go to the out side. Hot Wheels Boy to the inside. side. Is Jay Welshman making a blunder here around the turn? They could be. Can they cut back into the inside? side? Hot Wheels Boy back to the out side. Jay Welshman overtakes as they go to the second turn, and Jay Welshman makes the move, taking the lead as they go into the Final stretch! Jay Welshman in first place. Hot Wheels Boys in second. Looks like it's going to be Jerusco and Evo Games back in third and fourth place. Killer App in fifth. Spoontree and AC Dallas all in sixth place. Jay Welshman hold on first place for now. Hot Wheels Boy in second place. And ladies and gentlemen, they're battling it as they go down this straightaway into the final major turn. Hot Wheels Boy overtakes Jay Welshman. Jay Welshman looking for a better line in inside. Will the experience of Jay Welshman get them out in the victory or Killer App with a big boost of speed? Well, that's just coming over behind. It's all coming down to the wire, ladies. Oh my goodness! Jay Welshman goes for a swipe on Hot Wheels Boy, but Hot Wheels Boy dodges, takes the lead by about 10, 15 marble lengths. And Jay Welshman only has a short amount of time to make their move. Hot Wheels Boy to the outhand side. Jay Wilson up through the middle. Can Jay Wilson take a little bit of boost of speed to overtake Hot Wheels Boy? Hot Wheels Boy back to the middle. Jay Wilson to the outhand side. I don't think it's going to happen. Hot Wheels Boy's taking it over. Jay Wilson completely gambled it all on that one turn and missed and lost it all. Jay Wilson lets it all go with a wild risk of taking out Hot Wheels Boy. Hot Wheels Boy with an amazing dodge. The rookie on the scene takes it for all it's worth. Ladies and gentlemen, upset of the season. Hot Wheels Boy, the shenanigans Marvel Derby classic deck double bandana. Japan! Oh.